As a science and healthcare professional, why is it so important to balance field work with research work? I think it's important to have experience in both scientific research and in field work because it's again this idea of bridging different worlds and having the understanding of the challenges faced by each constituent group. Um, in the field, there's never anything such as an ideal condition. You know, you don't have um, standard temperature and pressure STP that you have in the lab. When I worked as a bench researcher, I could control my little rotisserie oven by tenths of a degree. And you never know what's gonna happen in the field. You know, it may be a tornado one day and a flood the next. And I worked through a research project through the Hurricane Katrina where a lot of my patients were very widely dispersed. And just even trying to find them and follow up was such a challenge and that would never happen in a lab. So having worked in both fields can help you understand how um, challenges in one area or another can affect outcomes. So we would see, for example, we would see um, decisions made at the WHO that wouldn't necessarily translate into practical applications at the field. One of the challenges that I faced as a Peace Corps volunteer was that um, the WHO had come up with these great infectious disease reporting forms and they had, had asked the traditional birth attendants and community health workers to fill out all these tally sheets. And it was a great idea, you know, data collection so that you can empower local decision making. And then they never really understood what the capacity at the field level was. So when I showed up to the district public health office, there were 10 years of forms that were stacked up being eaten by termites and no one had done anything with them. And so while in theory, in a nice air conditioned office in Geneva, it sounds like a great idea to collect information so that you can make decisions. They never really thought about what the capacity in the field was to actually do this type of work. And again, it wasn't the idea, it wasn't the fact that they didn't have the skills to, it was they were so overwhelmed with just providing services to a very, um, you know, very resource poor setting, to an environment that was extremely challenging where logistics was a problem and no one could ever get around to actually looking at what the information was. So I think having that experience in the field can help design, help you design more practical implementations and interventions. And then having worked sort of at the higher level headquarters or the, you know, in the scientific research level, you have an idea of what is actually realistic. So, you know, once you get to the field, everyone will ask for pie in the sky, like we need a cure for AIDS. And having worked as a bench researcher, I know how difficult that is. You know, sometimes it doesn't matter how much money you throw at things, science just takes time. You know, and you have to test everything at every temperature with every reagent and check how toxic it is and how it interacts with the body. And you have a very, very narrowly defined set of, you know, scientific methodology that you have to go through. So while a lot of people on the ground and advocates are clamoring for, you know, a cure for AIDS or let's cure cancer today, I've worked in the bench at the bench and I know that you can't just snap your fingers and invent a cure. Yeah. People are working very hard, but it's challenging. And at the same time, having worked in the field, I understand how desperately people are looking for those answers from some of the scientists. Mm.